It's just Chuck Peterson, aka coordinator of the Chuck Wallet. Yeah, the I can run streams. Yeah, they look pretty good, man. I can run streams. Yeah, aka Beef X is dead. Oh, I'm done. Am I playing Jolly? I'm done. I think it's a bad thing. Oh, oh. I thought I heard his name. No, I just, I don't, I have no clue why I thought I heard it. Wow. Noise. Wow. I... Oh, wait, what? I looked away from you. <laughs> Zafkago did a forward air chain off the side, oh, and you know, yeah. Mithred down got the best recovery. He ain't no Pac-Man, that's for sure. So literally every time you get Kago up in the air like that, you can call and drop I noticed, I punish him for yeah, that, and I still lose. If you can't jump up there, there's not much you can do about him just randomly in the direction of should. And unless you're right up there next to him, you can't reflect it and it won't hit him. Just, yeah, don't let the hydrant do it. Just, if you, can't, if you can't contest him above the hydrant area, at least stay away from where it's gonna be. Yeah, Hyra has a free spike, but- Oh! Big brain! Spike! It's a slow spike! Big brain! Kago did not attack it. I think he was expecting the spike too, he was yeah. not ready. Oh, no back air chain, but okay. I think he didn't want to go for the back air chain because he didn't have any platforms to uh, extend that combo. When you're at like long to mid range against long? Pac-Man, Kago, what? You said long. Long? No? Long to mid range. Oh, no, no, okay, I see what you I thought you were saying, I thought you were talking about percentage. Oh, uh, long <laughs> percentage? <laughs> yeah, long percentage, what's long percentage? But yeah, so long range to mid range against Pac-Man, just full shield. Or like one Ooh, up and shield, like because he'll, yeah, see, he's just gonna throw for it. Mm -hmm. Long to mid range. Or if you have a reflector, you can Close use that. he's gonna mash forward air or grab. He's just gonna mash? Yeah. Because <laughs> his dash attack is like minus nothing on shield, I don't even remember. Still not heavier, so he's being now. You're like one unit. It's, it's not super sick. Yeah. Tried to go for the water gun twice, but misses it both times. Yeah, that back there will do it. 200. 200 in the bag. Always goes up and grab it. Don't got certain spikes. I just don't think he'd have a good enough recovery to try that. That was way worse when I played Fester. I played Steve when he came out. I didn't match the minecart. Yeah, I played Joker when he came out, and I'm like, this is my main. And then I saw how complex he was. I'm like, nah, I'm too stupid for that. I'm gonna go back to Falco, mash up tilt, and laser. Pago's living comfortably right. I think you wanted to drag him out, like. I think most Pac Man's like neutral get up. Yeah, he'll throw in some random shenanigans like neutral get up and up and just like some random stuff like up and just for a burst off and burst. Most of the time. Jump from He's getting out neutral and out of the right now. He just can't get off the ledge. Yeah, he can't get a stage pressure. Oh, there we go. Some stage pressure. Granted, it's not like Pac-Man needs a lot of stage pressure because it needs to be scary. Doug Peterson isn't grabbing a ton. Wait, how the... Oh, is this 1-1? One, one? What are you doing? I don't... Oh, yeah, I thought Kago was up on it. Ooh, that was Oh, don't Oh, that almost... My god. Yeah, he's... <laughs> and it's 10. Is that 1-1? One, one? No? Oh yeah. I was gonna say, which funny is the? Uh... No, the last person, the person who updated characters didn't update score from the last match. Uh, so. Yeah, that's why we're confused. Are we on air? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Town and city again. So let's talk about the important things in life. Oh yeah? It's uh, that seems subjective. <laughs> Something subjective? That sounds subjective. I don't even know what that means. 
You're gonna dumb it down. I'm from Shelly, Idaho. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. One of the worst schools in the state. That's one of the worst. One of the that, states that, that, in the United States. That sounds like up for debate on what the most important things are. <laughs> but why is everybody changing their game again? I can't remember anybody. Uh, it, dude, it's just Bambro and Chuck Wall that change it all. Yeah, what's up with Chuck with uh, Van Bro? Uh, well, see, it was Van Bro, then it was Monkey, Monkey Gone, Gone to Heaven. Heaven, then it was Van Bro again, then it was like, uh, I did something weird now. I don't remember. Rupert Martin. Uh, I saw the one he's playing today, and I said, man, I feel like I it's <laughs> to, man, I feel like I'm saying a slur. The one who's doing today. And then you got Chuck Peterson. I'm out of here. Uh, bye, Nas. We love you. All right, we got a lone Kelpie G on the mic again. Time to suck at commentary as usual. But anyways, we got 80% on Kago and 137 on Chuck Peterson. I wonder what that's a reference to. <laughs> he just <laughs> got the, with the surprise expression on his face, not knowing what's going on. Sounds like me every day. With some poking tools with that forward air and forward tilt. But is Pac Man the best round character? Could he be considered a round character? He's not as round as Kirby or Jiggly. He's more humanoid round. What runs through Pac Man? Is it flesh and bones like everyone else, or is it. The ectoplasm from the ghost he eats. Things that keep me up at night while I haven't taken my medication. Pithra, of course, having no kill throws. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, that'll do it. There's a red dance? Uh, it's going all right. It's a lot more dominant. Well, I mean, there was a that was. I game changes. It's going about about how last game went. So who knows? That's, that's fair. You know, both these characters can be so volatile because if you can mess with Mithra, Mithra off stage, then you know you're you're kind of screwed. And Kago, well, Pac-Man in general can, can obviously do that, but, you know, Chuck Peterson is doing a really good job of keeping him uh, guessing in the neutral and keeping his advantage state going. I'm just talking on my ass. No, I, I feel that. I feel that. I, I, I would be worse about it. <laughs> I've been around this game long enough to know... What was that? That was... I mean, it was a decision to make. I think he wanted up B, but he, uh, yeah, I'm sure it was mostly just in pieces. Yeah, I think he wanted. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That's unfortunate. That's not how you want to do it. All right, all right. Hot side alert. Well, we just saw essentially okay. two SDs from Chuck's place. Oh, at the end of the that's two. unfortunate. How yeah, do no. Huh? SD? Uh, I think, I think it was a misinput side beat right off stage. It was Ooh. the. Yeah, he was just in the air when he did it. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's what he probably. A lot of those, you just like drag your finger across the B button. Yeah. Pretty very old, so it's just like, that happens sometimes. It takes so little for it to happen. Yeah. So, how's the stuff been going so far? This is the better guy to ask, because I haven't even thought about it. How's the stuff so. been going so far? The set? Yeah. It's. So Chuck Peterson was down both games, but he was able to come back in the first game, but then he SD twice in the slash. Uh, okay. As we were saying, they're both very volatile. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially, um, so like a lot of times when Chuck has Pac-Man in like juggle situations, Pyro does really well. It's like you cannot contest anything Pyro does. Yeah. You just have to watch out for Hydra. So. Because I don't think you can break the while it's in the air. You have to wait for it to be set. Or you can I play with it, I guess. That works. I think we're all kind of forgetting that he has foresight. Because a lot of his times, uh, yeah. Chicago's coming down with like a hydrant or a downer. 
and like he can just react to that and just like buffer a spot dodge. Yeah. Like, it kind of like such a it. weird mechanic. Yeah, was, like if you because like the strategy he has is not wrong of like contesting with an aerial because that works. But like uh, if you're doing that, you have a better chance of getting on pyro. Like he just did right now. I, I posed this question earlier. What runs to ca catch him? Is it flesh and blood? Or is it like the echo that he eats from the ghost? Um. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Talking about like, like if, if Pac-Man has blood? Yeah. Does Pac-Man have blood, or does he have something else? Well, I believe he's a man. Now, is he? He doesn't look like a man. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, but. But he's a pack. <laughs> well, what's a pack? Well, according to Scott Cobra, he's originally <laughs> Pug. According to the flapping of the lips. So. <laughs> the flapping of the lips. Hey man, that's what I do. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. I got on comms and I said, man, I can't wait to ruin this comedy. Oh, that was really great for uh, Chuck Peterson, where like he he rolled and toggled in his face. His... Okay, so so Mithril Upper does beat the Hydra now. He just has to space it right. Yeah. Because before he was hitting it and he was trading. Okay, good patience on Chuck. Okay, he's got him in the struggle situation. He didn't have Hydrant in the struggle situation, so it's been good. Okay. Good job. Good job. That was a felt punish. Okay. Oh, this is a lot closer of a game than has been. Usually, Tom was running away with running away with these first couple of stocks, but Chuck Peterson been able to keep up with that advantage state, not writing in that. Uh, oh, that was, okay, okay. I, I thought he had that. He should have just pulled the trigger a little earlier, but it's hard to react when somebody goes on stage like that. Oh, the Hydrant actually protected them. Can forward smash be brain? Forward smash? I'm not sure. Oh my goodness, that Nair. I've <laughs> never seen Hydrant sent at that angle. That is insane. Okay. Wow. But really? Okay, you're less trapped when you want to stay pyro. Okay. Good patience. Very good. 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 You like can have gone for a Hydra to get a follow-up, maybe. Okay. Oh, he's still a double jump. Very good down air. Okay, no, he, he still connects with the Hydra. Wow, that was good. What a DLC moment. <laughs> Pyro. The DLs. They could both be their own character. I don't know. Uh, Pyra definitely worse so, but yes, Pyra's I, I believe would be like a solo viable character, uh, but I don't think she would be as well. Like the, the, the main thing is the ability to switch between. She would still be better than Jeremy. Yeah, it's like the same the same logic as uh as like the Pokemon trainer, where like uh the, the moves just don't really work on their own. It's like Mithra, I mean Mithra doesn't like, completely struggle to kill, but there's a lot of times where like. Because of the way her work works, oh, save Okay, the four out. Okay, good punish in cargo. I wonder if you could have gone for up air. Like, I should go for a, like a juggle situation. A juggle or a I think fair was the best play. I think that was the best punish with the positioning. Yeah, you would just have to hit the back end of the up air. The troll in me would have waited for Hyper to go off and just hire a smash. <laughs> but uh, Kago the Kaku in so he's not going to be fun for that. Oh, oh no! Pyro would have made it! What is that? What is that? Oh. Game for Pyro would have made that? Oh. Okay. Well, that was good stuff from Chuck. He just like let up a few times and Kago took advantage of it. Um, I mean, nothing really to fault him on there. It's like, it happens. Uh, he's new with the Aegis. Kaga would take him to 2-1. Those games were all really close, according to what I heard, so... Good stuff to both players.